Hello and welcome back to SQL Server Denali, always on Next Gen HDR Solution. Um, in first four parts, you have seen how to set up network configuration, configure Windows 2008 R2 domain controller, preparing nodes for failover cluster, and a two node failover cluster. Uh, today, we will be talking about the part five where we'll install standalone Denali on the nodes. All right, let's look at our Denali demo Hyper-V setup. Uh, so as you know that we already configured the cluster whips. The cluster is configured as always on CLS. And let's start on installing SQL Server Denali. I am on node one. Let's check the SQL Server Manager. There are no roles, features. Let's look at the failover cluster. So yesterday we had configured the failover cluster. There are some warnings about the node majority and quorum. Since you do not have a shared storage, these warnings are considered normal. Let's have a look at some of the prerequisites you need to have to install this, which is if you click on features, uh, here is the list of software which you should install. Um, they are not must, but uh, as a standard I do install these features always. Let's see what do we have already installed. Go to program and features. You can see Microsoft.NET framework for client profile is already installed. So go ahead and install it. It is a prerequisite. It is not part of CTP1, so you have to manually install it before you start the installation. So I have the Denali setup CD already loaded here. I'll start the setup. All right, so here is the Denali setup. Setup process is pretty much same as what we have seen in SQL Server 2008. So standalone installation, failover cluster, add node to failover cluster, and then upgrade is there. So we'll, for this setup, we'll be using the standalone installation. Click next. You can see operation completed, pass seven, fail zero, warning zero, skipped one. The skipped would be the one which is Vistar, no reboot package, which is normal. Click OK. For this example, we'll be using the Enterprise Evaluation Edition of CTP1. That's the default came in with. Next, accept the license. Install setup support files. We just finished the setup support files. Uh, you can see the operation go nine passed, I skipped one. That should be again uh, the Windows firewall, not applicable. So just so you know, uh, for this setup, I have disabled Windows firewall on all all the nodes for this demo purposes. Uh, we can go to services and disable the Windows firewall. Okay, we'll continue next. Uh, pick the default SQL Server feature installation. As usual, the same selections you'll see, click select on and we'll just remove the analysis services. Use the default locations, click next. Here the installation check has happened and there are past or six and skip 16. Let's have a quick look. Most of them are not applicable, so we should be good to proceed next. Okay, uh, for this example, we'll be using the default instance of standalone Denali on both the services, so we'll click next. The setup is ready to start. Click next. I'll be using a cluster account to start all the services. CLS is the cluster account. Just to type the password. Click next. Add current user. Uh, Continue with the default data directories and file stream option. Let it left. Click next. Default next. Continue with it. All right, so skip to one. Operation completed. Installation is almost ready to go. 
right so here are the all the options we selected click next An installation is in progress usually the installation takes somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes so all right so installation is completed all the services are installed properly just click on close well with that the installation is completed uh, just reboot the machines and do the same on the node 2 and I'll see you next video where we'll configure and understand what are availability groups all right we'll see you next video thank you for watching